Yes, we hear you. You are live on air. So what do you want to say to us? I got another question. Oh, you have a question? I thought you... Are you a Muslim? Yes. That's wonderful. What do you think about what I was oh. saying first? Oh. About oh. What, what is the oh. kingdom of oh. David? God. Before you go, what, oh. what, what, what is the kingdom of David? Do you know? How can God die? He, who told you who uh, God die? Who told you that? What do you mean? Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. In Bible. Well, hold on. So you are saying that the Bible says that God died? Yes, Jesus. Yes. Okay, can you show me where it says that? Uh, he went cross, crucified. Okay, so you are saying to me if he wasn't the cross, that's mean he is not God, right? No, you you say he God, yes? No, no, no. I, I'm trying to understand you. You are saying if Jesus was on the cross and he was crucified, that to prove that he cannot be God, correct? I yes yes okay thank you very much guys this uh, uh, Muslim brother he said if Jesus was a crucified there's no way he is God but in the Quran my friend Jesus was not crucified so according to the Quran Jesus must be God no no he wasn't crucified in Quran no in, in the Quran in the Quran he, he, okay the Quran he did Jesus crucified or not uh, no okay you, you told us if Jesus was in the cross that is a proof that he cannot be God correct no, no, if he died, okay, you, you listen, took out if he died, if he died, correct, okay, okay, I understand you. Now, Jesus, according to the Quran, he was not crucified and until now he's alive, is that correct? Yes. Okay, how you explain to us that Jesus did not die? You are the one who said, if Jesus died, he cannot be God. According to the Quran, until now, Jesus is alive. You are the one who told me that you are the one who told me that if Jesus died, he cannot be God Everybody heard you According to your Quran Jesus never died until now he's alive So how a man he is just a man he is alive for more than 2,000 years and he don't die No, no, you see this is your logic. This is your logic Abdul, Abdul my brother Abdul I like you I know Abdul, and I know and I know you are very smart smarter than me so I I Excuse my uh, my my foolishness. You are the smart one. Explain to us no, no, how you can answer this. You are the one who said, if Jesus die, he cannot be God. Will Jesus in your religion never die? Until now, no, I'm saying no. You you you, you twisted words. You, I said that how can God die? Who said? Right? Who, okay, I, and I told you, and I told you, who told you that God die? Who told in you that? Bible. It doesn't say that. You are a liar. Show me. Show me what it says that. So he didn't die. Where, where? Show me. I want. I want to learn from you. Where it says God died. No, no. I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Did Jesus? It, it didn't die? say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. God, he came to us in the flesh. They killed the flesh. That's all. God never died. Mm. All, God is always alive. Mm. Let me ask you a question. When your God Allah, mm. he changed his uniform mm. from a leg. To different shape what happened to the first uniform is it dead or alive uh, I'm sorry I don't understand your question okay you're a prophet when the Muslims ask him about seeing Allah in the day of judgment he said yes you will see him and he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know so now Allah have two shape shape number one and shape number two okay when Allah he came in shape number one I said I mean sorry shape number two he have to exchange shape number one. What happened to shape number one? Die or is still alive? Uh, I'm ignorant. I need to check. You know. What do you mean you check? You want you want to show you the, the hadith in front of your eyes? Oh, no, do, do you want that? No. Do, do, yeah, no, 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 no. Why you want to check? We can do it right now. You are smart. You are educated. Not like me. I don't know how to read, how to write, and, no, I, you and even my English is funny. Everybody knows that. I do not know the difference between dump and dump. You can ask the Muslims. So now you help me. Your prophet said that Allah will come to you in the shape other than the one which you saw first time. So Allah have two shapes. Okay, when Allah he came in the second shape, what happened to the first shape? That shape die or still alive? I don't know what what you mean. You know. What uh, do you mean? My question is very okay. Let me say it slowly, slowly. 
I came to you in a shape other than the I first shape, which means shape, it's mean a body, 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 shape is a body, my friend, shape is a body, he changed his body, shape is a body, so Allah, he came to you in a, in a new body, what happened to the first body? Please, show me where it says all right now you put me in the corner because if i could not show you you will make fun of me so i this is embarrassing i hope i will pray to allah to me to help me to find you the uh uh the hadith hold on uh, <clears throat> uh, let us see i hope i will be able to find it because you know uh, it's very embarrassing now uh, if i don't show it to you People will talk about me and my reputation, and things will be really horrible. But uh, let us hope. Let us hope that's yeah. okay. Let us see here. All right. Are you are you watching the YouTube with me? Uh, yes. All right. <clears throat> I need to read some Quran to find the verse uh, because uh, I mean the hadith it's, it's not coming Eesh. Okay, I think we 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 found it. Hold on, let me find. Uh... <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> Look with me, please. <clears throat> Hello? You hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. We have, I will show you many hadith in the front of us, not only one. And all of them, they are sahih. Sahih al-Bahar, yeah? Yeah. This is yeah, sahih. Yeah. This is sahih. All right? Okay. Now, now, uh, this is the first hadith. Read the reference with me, please. This is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith mm -hmm. number, book number, value, sorry, uh, uh, value number six, book number 60, hadith number 105. This is okay. the first one. Okay, hold on. I will show you to, show, to, confer, to confirm you how many. This is the second one. You see here in the translation it says in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind It doesn't say that but this is not important for us so Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Allah have two shapes. What happened to the first shape? Can you, can you just show me again? Because I didn't see it. Okay. I, I see the shape. Because I think I'm ahead of the screen, you know? Okay, no problem. Let me let me get you uh, behind, sir. Uh, more clear uh, hadith. All right, hold on.
Okay. Okay. Here we go. Allah will come to them. Our Lord will come to the Muslims. And he would say, I am your Lord. I am your Lord. They would say, we take refuge with Allah from thee. And we don't associate anything with Allah. All right. And they will say that many times. All right. Now the question is, Allah is coming to them in different shape. He changed his shape. What happened to the first shape? I'm just reading it now. With Allah from the first year, one defeated twice for a priest. So some of them would be able to test if there's a sign between you. Uh, hello, because okay. uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm uh, I, I'm ignorant, so I need to, I need to, you know, okay. research. But the Quran, I mean, the, your prophet, he confirmed that Muhammad, he is saying that your God, Allah, have two shapes at least. One is the one which is, is they saw first time, and the, the, the new shape. So now Allah have two shapes. When Allah, he finished or done with the first shape, what happened to it? It die. Allah changed his form, and the form here is a form of a, a person. Whatever the form looked like, a form of a man, a form of an octopus, we don't care. What happened to the first form? What do you think? I, I, I you know, I can't answer. You know, I, I, I need to research. So. Hmm. Okay. I can't, you know, I can't tell no you answer because I don't no answer. Problem. Now, now uh, as long as you here, you, you, you know, like you're like you are in trouble because you cannot ex explain to us that your God is always alive, but now He is one God, but now He is two gods, for He is well, two, he, he is two shape. I'll come back to you because I, I, you know, I, I, I need to research myself. Ah, okay, no problem. Now let us go back to zero then. We were talking about the kingdom of David and Suleiman. According to you, as a Muslim, where is the where where is the location of the kingdom of David? Well, it would be ancient Palestine. Would be the ancient Palestine. Ancient, ancient Palestine. Yes. Ancient. Okay. So now this is the land of the Jews. Um, why why yeah, you Muslims? Like, why you Muslims? You're saying that the Jews the Jews have nothing to do with Jerusalem? If you just admitted that this is the kingdom of Suleiman. No, historically, it, Palestine was Jewish, yes, but uh -huh. it doesn't interfere to the Islamic faith because we didn't differ from them, you know? What, what, what? I don't understand what does that mean. What do you mean? If, if you we, just we said didn't. that this is the land of the Jews and you, you understand we, that we this historically, what you say historically, God. when you say historically, so, what does that mean? Does that mean the Jews, they built they build Jerusalem? Is that what it's meant? The Jews, they are the one who built the land, they built the city? Well, yes, Jews. Yes, Jews built the city. Yes. Okay. So the, the so the Jews, the Jews, they built the city. Now, what make you have the right to have any city there? As long this is their city, this is they are born there, and this is their land, and they are the one who uh, build it, and kingdom. Their who, kingdom. Who said? You, who said that I don't agree? Okay. So why you are, why the Jews is not their land? Then why the, Israel is not the land of the Israeli? No, it is. The, I would say it is Jewish. It. Jewish, but but there's a but. We just like there's Christian sections. There's also Muslim sections. What what there's section? What, okay, okay. What is the Muslim section? What what is what is the Muslim section? What is the Muslim section and what make it Muslim section? Tell me. Because the Palestinian people have always been there. Those are not Palestinian. Those are Arab. They came in the invasion in the year seven hundred with Omar al-Khattab. Palestinians are not Arab. Palestinians are not Arab. Ask all those who claim to be Palestinian to the Hamas. Ask them. They will say to you, are Arab. All of us, we knew that the first time Arabic language entered the land of Bilad al-Sham, what's called Bilad al-Sham, the land of Syria, is in the time of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, long after Muhammad's death. First time ever somebody speak Arabic there. Even the, the record of the, of the, the Caliphate, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, was not written in Arabic, it was an Aramaic language because his people do not know how to read, how to write. So he have to use the Aramaic, the Syrian, you know, language because they are the only one knows how to write, how to read. 
the Bedouin, they are savage. So now the first time the Arabic language enter into Jerusalem, if it enter at that time, is when the Arab invade that land. So what does this have to do with the Palestinian today? Those are not Palestinian. Those are Arab invaders. They came to this land. There's no Arab there. Well, you know, you could say the same for these Jews now, uh, Europeans. They came from the. Russian, it doesn't matter. You know, you know this is their business. This is their land. No, 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 no listen, 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 listen. The land of Germany is German, right? Mm. Okay. They accept refugees. Many of them are Muslims. Uh, this is their business. Is if they are willing to welcome refugee or people to give them citizenship, this is their problem. They have the right mm -hmm. because they own the land. It's not your business. If I want to have somebody in my house, I can have him. So now we confirm that the land is the land of the Jews, and you Muslims have no right to claim it. So why you are being injustice, and why you are not being honest with yourself, and why you don't say we know this is their land? They are the one who built Jerusalem. They are the one who built Haifa. They are the one who built all the cities, and those cities belong to them. What about what about the city of Al Medina, where your prophet he seek refuge? Did he come as a refugee to the city of Yathrib? And the uh, Jews and the Jews was full of the city. So yeah. this is a Jewish city. Muhammad came as a refugee. How you Muslim take it from the Jews? Give it to the Jews. Well, in the day that was in the day when it was at large, it was bigger than what Judaism. The, what does have to do with the Christianity, my friend? The I, city I, where Muhammad, where Muhammad came, he came to the land of the Jews. That is not yes. far away from Mecca. This is a city of the Jews. Muhammad came as a refugee, and then. Imagine he killed the ones who welcome him in their cities and he took their cities and now Muslims changed the name and now no Christian no Jews can allowed or allowed to get inside the city, but this is not your city In the heart of Saudi Arabia No, technically Saudi Arabia was mostly pagan. It doesn't matter now Why you don't allow the Jews to go back to their city, which is the city of Yathrib? Who says that who says that? well, I, I don't I, uh, maybe that. I, I, you what know, do you I mean? Who, 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 who? What do you mean? What they, who says? There is a sign because in the highway. Do you, do you want to show it to you? It says no, no, only right, Muslims, only Muslims can enter this land. And actually, the Quran have a verse saying that the Christians and the Jews and non-Muslims are najis, so they cannot enter those areas. Can I speak, please? Yeah, sure. But, uh, but by the way, yeah. where are you from? If you don't mind, are you? Huh? From, where are you from? From Pakistan. Uh, yes, but living in the United Kingdom. Yeah, but, but you are Pakistani. Yeah, uh, no, Iran. You are from Iran? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so are you Shia or Sunni? Sunni. You are Sunni. All right. Yes. What, what Sunni mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What does it mean? I don't know. I, I'm asking you. I, you know, I'm ignorant. I do not know anything about Islam. I'm not trying to re learn from you. What, what the word Sunni mean? I think you're just trying to... Okay, okay me tell me what Sunni mean. I, I'm trying with well, trying. Uh, is it is it is it shameful to say what Sunni mean? What Sunni mean? <laughs> Hang up. I don't know what guys did I do something wrong? I mean I'm trying to trap him. He said I don't know what he said, spank me. I you are trying to spank me. I don't know what he said. What I mean here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Allah. Finally, we got a Muslim who call us and he have to admit that this is the land of the Jews. And I was speaking to him in a very nice way, right? I mean, I, I was not aggressive with him. Who's next? Who is next? What do you mean I don't let him speak? All this talk, he did not talk yet? Are you sure? Look at the Abdul guys. I don't let him speak. All of this is recorded. You can play it. Okay, I, I Muslims, as long as you think that he was doing good, I encourage you to download the recording after we finish and post it in every Islamic YouTube. Who want to do that? And when a Muslim, he says to me, I am a Sunni. What does that mean? I will tell you what does that mean. It's mean you have to clean your ass with the three rocks. Do you? Who is a Muslim of you? When he go in the bathroom, he take a throw rocks with him. 
You are not a Sunni. You are a liar. A person who is a Sunni, he pee in the street sitting. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he collect boogers and he put it in his pocket. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he have to have a lot of flies in his head. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he have to have a wife. She is six years old. So what do you mean you are a Sunni? You are not a Sunni. Sunni are the one who follow the Sunnah of Muhammad. What is the Sunnah? The way of life. The practice of Muhammad. That is what Sunnah is about. So why they lie to us and they say we are Sunni? You are not. Now, how many Jews here listening to this uh, video? If you, if there is Jews in here, give me one. Do we have Jews here? Anyone? If you are a Jew, download this video. You can cut the part. I mean, don't do editing. No, just cut the part from the time he uh, called to the time he hang up and post it around. Let everybody hear how the Muslims admit that this is the land of the Jews. What is that? What is the Sunni? A Muslim Sunni is someone when he piss, he shake his penis three times. Chuk, chuk, chuk. I mean, why three times? What will happen if it's four times? His penis will fall apart? A Muslim Sunni. None of you is a Sunni. You are a bunch of hypocrites. Do you wear jeans? You're a prophet. He said the one who dressed like them is one of them. If a Muslim he dressed like us, he is one of us. So what do you mean you are a Sunni? Do you wear our shoes? Do you wear our underwear? Do your wife buy Victoria's Secret? Do she buy lipstick? Do the Muslims have lipstick? Who is the one who made lipstick? If you're a prophet, make it clear that the one who do what they do, he is one of them. Everything you do Muslims today is what we do. You are trying to copy us. We make phone you buy our phone Huh, we make cars you buy our cars He is calling again How are you my friend? Hello Okay, okay, you know, uh, so do you feel better now? I, I, I hope I did not offend you did I offend you or something? I couldn't be involved with stupid questions. Oh, okay. Why is it so stupid? Can you tell me? It's just stupid. Well, no, I, I let us say for the sake of argument, I am asking a stupid question. Can't you give me a smart, no, I, smart answer for a stupid you know, question? You know the passage Isaiah, Isaiah forty-two. Uh, no, I do not know what that verse. What, can you tell me what about it? Tell me, please. <clears throat> One second. As Isaiah, what forty-two? <laughs> Hmm. Is Isaiah is is he a Christian? Jew. Oh, he's a Jew. Okay, I'm I'm glad he's not a Christian. I was going to be upset because he said something bad. Okay, so I forty-two. If you can, if you wait, why did you bring up Isaiah forty-two on your program and have a read? Well, no problem. We are here. Read it for us. What Isaiah forty-two saying? You you very easy. So you to tell. Uh, everyone, show my, everyone my friend, my friend. Okay, right we now. will show. We will show. No problem. Can you tell us where? What? What verse in Isaiah forty-two? Isaiah forty-two. They mean the chapter, right? Yeah, just read the chapter. Yeah. If okay, you... the whole chapter. You want me to read it? It's big. What do you want me to read exactly? <laughs> okay. Uh, read from. Uh, to search Google. Search Google. Okay, read from the uh, first uh, 42 1 to 42. What 42 1? I don't understand. What do you mean 42 1? Chapter, chapter 30, 42, I guess. Chapter 42. Verse 1. Okay, verse number 1. Verse 1. Okay. 2 17. Okay. 
All right. Let me see. Hold on. It's a prophecy for from Prophet Muhammad. If, if that's deep. You know, this is why this is why uh, Christian Prince trying not to read it for you because obviously it's a prophecy about your prophet. And how you find out that this is a prophecy about your prophet, if you don't mind to tell me? Uh, speaker's corner. If, if, if that's deep, that's deep. Okay, let us see. I'm going to uh, show everybody the verse you mentioned for us, or the chapter. And actually, I'm going to play the sound of it so everybody can hear. You know. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. Mm -hmm. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Mm -hmm. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. Okay, and to what, what verse you want? And to what verse? Are we done, or you want more? Uh, sorry, what verse you had now? What what verse you said? The one you stop? You want me to stop? Uh, I'd say seventeen. Seventeen. I have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and then that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord. That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. Okay, hold on, hold on. Does it say that the Lord shall come as a mighty man? Are you there? Hello. Let us go from the beginning. Uh, you want to go from number one, yes? Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. Here it says that this guy who is he's talking of, he is not. He should not speak loud in the streets. Do your prophet Muhammad don't speak loud in the street? Uh, can you just show me what uh, verse that was, please? Verse number two. Uh, he will not cry out no racist voice. Well. He will not cry out no well, racist I can show you a ton of hadith about your prophet screaming at people. Okay, but we can see this. Okay. We can see the same to we could say the same to Jesus. And this is don't change the topic now. You you are the one who said this is about Muhammad. Right? Yes, but I'm guessing do okay, you believe this is for don't, Jesus don't, or not? I'm not, not talking about Jesus now. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Well, I, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm, you're a I'm prophet. You, you, you are the one who said, I am not the one who said this is about Jesus. Did I say so? Yes. Did, I, did I say so? Oh, no. Did I say so? So then, yes no. so then don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm not saying you, this no, is no, Jesus. No, we don't want to change the topic. Confirm. You say I'm this is about Muhammad. Let us laugh at you. Don't change the topic. There's a person who will never speak loud. Number two, he will sing for the Lord. Isn't it in music haram? In Islam? That is so out of context. Listen, is anti music haram in Islam? Yes or no? <laughs> Instruments. Is anti music haram? Yes or no? Singing, no. It says singing there. What do you mean singing? No. Where? Okay, show singing me. Okay, show haram. show me where it says that singing is halal in Islam. Show me where it's not. Okay, here we go. That's a good thing. No problem. And I just wanted to don't ask don't don't, don't 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 just wait just wait just wait you don't let me just speak. wait just wait just wait don't change the topic we want to finish one by one you said show me it's right not I'm, not, I'm not like you I'm not it's like you I'm not like I'm you when you say to me show me I show you 
All right? You're so okay. you're very so biased. Here we go. In, in your, your you, manner, here we go. Biased. You know, you're, you're a prophet. He said it clearly that don't do anything is called lahul kalam we go to the interpretation it says like singing any music singing any music all right it doesn't say music in the text okay we will see hold on hold on hold on so no, I, i'm just saying okay isaiah okay. 42 does not say music in the text okay it says singing are you allowed to do singing yes where it says that where does it say it doesn't so are you saying to me that in the Quran if nowhere it says it does not it means it's allowed What? well obviously not so, you're, so, you're, you're, so why you are why you are not giving the answer okay where it says where it says where it says okay if I show you if I show you right now you're scholars listen listen I do if I show you right now you're scholars saying you're scholars saying that thinking is haram what you will do well then i i was ignorant and i should have known that but all right let, us, right do, let us do that let us do that the thing is you're very biased my friend because okay so you see i'm going to show you what your muslims believe because if i show you you will say to me uh, uh you know uh, this is your opinion this is not a true you know this is not a, not a true okay we will see if this is true or not I just wanted to ask, did you think I this is the topic? I don't want to change the topic because if we change it, then we are going to speak about Jesus, right? You are the one who's oh, taking after? it. Okay, are you taking uh, when, when you when you quote for me, uh, Isaiah, are you giving interpretation based on your Islamic source or a Christian source? Well, I'm getting the text from the Bible. No, no, I know, I know. But are you are you qualified to give interpretation for the Christian and the Jewish books? Can I read them? Do you mean? What do you mean? No, are you qualified to give interpretation for the Christians and the Jewish books? And when I say you, I say all of you Muslims. Like I'm saying all of you Muslims are you qualified? You know, if I give interpretation for the Quran, do you accept it? If it's in the if it's in the text, then yes. What do you mean it's in the text? Then? Do you accept my interpretation? It depends if it's in the text. If it if what, what do you mean? Like do you mean? Say, okay. I, I have to admit, it doesn't say where does Jesus say. I okay. Thought, what do you, you mean? Guys think the concept okay. Is there, yes? What do you mean in the text? If the, the context in the text. Uh, this is the one who will make decision that this is what the context is saying. You're telling me that we can't sing, yes? I'm saying to you. Is that is that you? Is that no? You? I'm saying to you that you Muslims do not you know. You said Muhammad what, did not sing, yes? Okay, you Muhammad. Where Muhammad he said you can sing? Where did Jesus say you can sing? Here we go. The, the, the Bible. The Bible Jesus. says you can sing for the Lord. You can sing. You can sing. Who said you cannot sing? Now show me where your Quran says you can sing. Can you show me? You are the one who chose to me the verse. The verse in front of you it says, "Sing." Did Muhammad sing? Muhammad. Did Muhammad sing? sing. Did, did Muhammad sing? Did, did Muhammad? Did Muhammad sing? sing? Yes or no? Did Muhammad sing? Yes it or no? Means proclaiming. What, what, what it doesn't sing. You're not going to be singing it, are you? Sing what? Sing, sing what? Sing what? Verses. Okay. Muhammad was proclaiming what? Proclaim Muhammad was loud. proclaiming what? 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 That he was the prophet. But it says there. Okay, let us read the verse together. You see, I don't know. You are jumping uh, uh, like uh, from place to place. It says, "Sing into well, the maybe, Lord I, new song." Listen, basic. listen. Sing into the Lord the new song. Did Muhammad sing a new song to the Lord? Did Muhammad sing a new song to the Lord? Is that what it says in Isaiah? Yeah, verse number ten. It says, "Sing into the Lord a new song." Did okay. Muhammad sing a new song to your to your Allah? Let's Just say let us say he is singing to Allah. Uh, is that a new song? I'm reading the text now. Second, please. Hmm. <clears throat> a new thing I declare. Sing to the Lord a new song. Uh, his praise on the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea, 
post on Instagram, but it's like the wilderness. Boys, the village is like Koha. A new song. Okay. Sing to a Lord to a new song and his praise from the ends of the earth. What? Uh, uh, yeah. Did Jesus bring a new song? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You know, don't change no, the topic. I'm, I'm don't, don't, change, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Jesus, he I'm brought er, everything with Jesus is in you. Jesus, he is the Lord. He, uh, you know, he says, it's been said to you, but I say to you. Yes, he brought a new song. When when the uh, Jews they came to stone the women, what Jesus said to them, if one of you had don't have sin, don't have sin, cast your first stone. So Jesus he brought something in you. The Jews don't understand. And you are changing the topic to get away from the, the, the disaster. You say this verse is about Muhammad. And let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a simple question. Why your prophet did not say that you can find my name in Isaiah 42? I am just asking you. I'm to just asking that. you too. Why your prophet? Are you saying that the speaker corner, the Abdul you saw in the speaker corner, is a smarter and he's more knowledgeable? Where the name of your prophet appear and where is the prophecy about him appear? Are you saying to me, you Muslims, that your prophet was a stupid? He do not know that it is speaking about him in the Torah, but he do not know. Are you saying to you Muslims that Muhammad is the last one to know? Is the same as when his wife she was sleeping around with Safwan? He is the last one to know. What's wrong with you? How you say to me that this is about Muhammad, but Muhammad never said so. Why Muhammad did not quote that verse for the Jews when he was alive? He says, hey, listen, Isaiah is about me. Give me an answer. Well, tell me what Jesus said, some the verse in the Torah. Don't change the topic. Why you're a prophet do not know about it. He is a prophet or he was aftermarket prophet. And you Muslims can find a place for him. Look, it's if you if you answer, down, answer, don't change the topic. Tech. Answer why it's your prophet tech. do not know. How come well, he do not know? Is? How come he do not know? Do you know why? Was Jesus in Kedar? Let me ask you a question. Was Jesus was, in Kedar? Was Muhammad in Kedar? Yes. Where? Where is Kedar? Well, you tell me. Well, you tell me. You are the one who said yes. Tell me where is Kedar. Let us laugh at you. It's about Prophet Muhammad. Bye. Where is Kedar? Kedar is Mecca? <laughs> Kedar is in Medina? <laughs> Answer. Where is Kedar? Hello? Did he hang up? What happened? Are you there? Let us go in again. Let us laugh. Mm. All right, all right, coward. Guys, look what it says here. Muhammad, we know all of us that he have a companion. He is a blind. Was Muhammad able to make the blind see? Hmm? And I will bring the blind by the way that they know not. I will lead them in a bath. What does that mean? Muhammad, he brought the blinds. Muhammad, he made fun of the blinds. He kicked the blind from his house. There's a verse in the Quran that says, quote, Abasa wa tawalla in ja'ahu al-a'ma. Abasa. A blind man came to Muhammad. And Muhammad, he kicked his ass out of the house. And if you go to the interpretation, you will see that Muhammad, he kicked this man out of his house in chapter 81, verse number 1. Because he was busy with the rich men of Quraysh. The verse is speaking totally different. Muhammad was a very bad person with the blind men. Muhammad, he insulted people who they are suffering from disability. Now we can show you many examples. Huh? Where is Muhammad? The Muslims are so desperate to find their prophet in our books because they cannot prove to us their prophet. And the most stupid, funny thing I find, 
when a Muslim he says to us it is found here and there but he's a prophet never mention it maybe Allah did not inspire Muhammad the prophet of the Abdul that his name in Isaiah 42 is that the reason so a speaker corner who came 1400 years or the, he is learning from uh, Ahmad Dida the, the donkey he copied the, the, the Muslims are copy paste but nobody asked himself why Muhammad in his time did not say my name is in Isaiah I am the comforter huh? let me show you what your prophet said where his name is going to be located Abdul so you can laugh at yourself your prophet said the only one will talk about him is Isa and he will talk about a person his name is Ahmad not Muhammad why is Qala Isa ibn Maryam ya bani Israel all right chapter 61 verse number six what he said that there's a prophet will come after me his name is Ahmad so if the name of Muhammad should be shown it should be shown exactly as you see it here in the verse it should not be Muhammad it should not be without having a name it should not be like mysterious it should say his name is Ahmad not Muhammadim as the dad he fool you this is your Quran his name is Ahmad now by the way how many names your prophet he have 99 names why because none of them those are his names Muhammad he gave himself names to praise himself what the meaning of Muhammad the praised one if Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised to? Allah? Who is Abdul when I call us? I don't know why this uh, uh, Muslim hero, he hang up. I mean, obviously you have, uh, you, you, are, you are occupied with Isaiah. You have Isaiah in your hand and you can fight, if you can fight with it. And look guys how they change the topic suddenly they want to talk about Isaiah <laughs> oh boy answer answer come on Allah will bless you if you answer let us have fun come on be a man coward The most funny statement is what the Muslims they say that they found the name of their prophet in certain verses, or there's a prophecy speaking about Muhammad in the Bible. When their prophet himself, he do not know about them. That is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because how this guy became a prophet. Because now he's he's prophesying to us that this is about this is about Isaiah, about Muhammad. How Muhammad the Prophet could not recognize that he is the Prophet and his name is mentioned or spoke about him in Isaiah chapter number 42 but the Abdul who is not a Prophet he was able to prophesy to us about the prophecy about the Prophet you know what I mean the Prophet who is not a Prophet he cannot find his name in the Bible but the Abdul they were able to find Muhammad in the Bible that is astonishing I'm really, I'm really astonished Muhammad is the last one to know the same as what happened when they found Aisha sleeping with Safwan Aisha she broke her necklace okay and Aisha she spent the night with Safwan uh -huh. and when Aisha she came back the second day they asked her hey Aisha where you been with Safwan I was looking for my necklace. Oh, if, 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 The last one to know is the Prophet Muhammad. Do we have any brave Muslim want to wanna, wanna prove to us? So what we get from this Abdul until now that Israel is the land of the Jews and Muslims are desperately looking for their prophet in our Bible. And he just confirmed that the book of Isaiah must be a true book. 
correct guys did he confirm because the second the Muslim he quoted from a book it's mean the book is true who is the brave Muslim he dare to say that Isaiah is a true book as long as you are quoting from there saying this is about Muhammad any Abdul is willing to do so God never died uh, he's going to quote for me from Google again how are you my friend how are you doing I got one more question you have more questions can you make them 10 can you make an can we sign a contract for 10 questions you know uh, no, no before you go honestly I'm, I'm serious can we sign a contract between me and you that you promise me you will not leave today until you ask me 10 questions is that fine yeah no okay. problem you promise by Allah I promise all right give me that question <clears throat> you know uh, you know in your your Bible yes no I do not know you you know your Bible you 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 believe your Bible yes what my Bible? I don't have a Bible. Which Bible are you talking about? I, I thought we have one. The Muslim, I saw an article made by Muslim says we have a, a billion Bible. Which one? Well, you have uh, several. But which, okay, which one? I, give me, give me the one Bible? you are talking about. Which one? Which one? Which one? I'm asking you what Bible do you read? King James, NIV? No, no. I, 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 you tell me. I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I don't have a Bible. First of all, who is the ignorant who told you the Christians? Bible? Who is the ignorant who told you the Christian they have a Bible? Oh, so you're saying you don't have a Bible? No. no so where, where do you read the word? Where do you read your text? I'm asking you. Are you saying the Christians they have a Bible? Yes or no? I say we don't. I'm asking. I say no, we don't. Do you? Okay. So what do you have? We have the Book of God. The Bible is a word. Mean books of books, many books. What Bible? It's a collection okay. of books. This is what Bible mean. So you're we have the book of God. Now let me ask you a question. The book of God. No, when we say when we say the book of God, that's mean the book belong to who? Well, to your to you to your opinion to God, yes. In your opinion, about your opinion, what do you think? The book of God belong to who? Well, it's made for man, but it belongs to God. So okay, so no, both of us we agree that the book of God is the book of God. It's not the book of the man. Do you agree? Yes, but right. it's for then let me form. let me let me ask you then how come your Quran says that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah and That means the Injil and the Torah are the book of God and you just agreed. Do you agree with that? No, I didn't agree with that. You, you just I said you just that. said everybody heard you that we uh, that the book oh, of God is a book We belong to God. Back, listen listen that. you said that I Christians can't lie. My friend you said that the book of God belonged to God. Did you say that a second ago or no? I never said the Bible. Um, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. Not, I, did, I did not say the Bible. I said I don't have a Bible too. I just said that to you. Me I said, I'm, I'm I said, I said we have an Injil and we have a Torah. We have an Injil and we have a Torah. Now, who is the one who sent the Injil? Who is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah? Allah. Allah, thank you very much. So, the, not, the, so not, the Torah and the Injil is the book of Allah or the book of the Christians and the Jews? Not the book what you have now, my friend. It doesn't matter. I'm asking you now. You know, you don't even. It have doesn't matter. Text. It doesn't matter. Listen, listen. Okay, you just said. Text. You just said. Everybody heard you. You just said you know that? that the book we have now is I'm, not is not the Torah is not the Injil. Is that correct? Yeah. Did you say yeah, that? You have done. Abdul. Did you say that? Did you say that the book we have now have nothing to do with the Torah? Have nothing to do with the Injil? I'm saying there's no originality. Okay, no problem. No problem. I'm just trying to understand. Are you saying that the Torah today, Abdul? Listen. Are you saying the Torah, my friend? It's easy. Are you saying the Torah and the Injil, which the Christians and the Jews they have? It is not the true Torah and Injil, yes or no? What they have now? What you guys have now? Yeah, it's not a true. Yes. So, why you no, quote for not. me a second ago from Isaiah saying this about Muhammad? Well, it's in the well, what you well, it's in there, isn't it? So, well, 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 you are the one who's quoting me saying to me, Isaiah 42 is about Muhammad. So, how it is not a true, and now it's a true. Is it a true or not a true? Hello? Okay, I, I, it's not true then. Just take it away. What do you mean take it away? I uh, so apologize then. Apologize that you did lie, claiming that this is about Isaiah, claim about about Muhammad. Apologize, apologize. Take it back. 
Say I apologize, I, I was lying. Okay, I'm just gonna ask you that you you do know you have no money. Don't don't say stop. Don't, don't say stop. Abdul, don't say stop. You asked me the question. We have to finish it. Okay. So now you admitted that Isaiah has nothing to do with Muhammad because the Torah is a fabricated book, the one they have it right now. Now let me ask you a question. As long as you admit it, that Allah is the one who sent the Torah and Allah is the one who sent the Injil. Why Allah cannot protect his book? What do you think the problem? Because man's twisted it. Okay. I okay. So, and why Allah cannot protect it? I want to. I want to twist the Quran right now. Can I do that? You go for it. I did already. Here we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. I twisted the Quran. Can Allah stop me? What if you go and look in the Quran? Yeah. We or there is many Quran already. Already there's many Quran, don't you know? There's tons of Quran. Which one is the one is, is the true? Which one Quran you follow? Which Quran you follow? You yourself. There's one Quran. No, no, there's no one. That, that's, that's not true. Even your prophet, he said the, there is seven Quran. Is that true? Show me. Okay, show me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I will show you. Did you did you know that? Did you did you know that you have no manuscript from the first disciples or uh, what apostles or whatever they're called really you know, no, I, I don't I don't know that do you have manuscript for those manuscript do you have yourself uh, read how Jesus became no, no, listen 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 do you have manuscript yourself for the manuscript of Allah do you have what, what do you have manuscript what, yourself you are saying to me do you know you don't have manuscript listen we have we have tons of thousands we have thousands of manuscript you're lying now listen I'm asking you now do your Muslims have a manuscript of the how do you Muslims listen listen do you have Muslims? Do you have a manuscript for Musa's? Yes or no? For who Moses? Musa's? Yes. Do you? Well, no, because so why you are asking me to have manuscript for Musa's? Then you are a hypocrite. You are saying Musa's is a Muslim prophet. Allah sent him. Why Allah? He wrote the he wrote the Torah by his hand to Musa's. What the purpose of writing by hand if he will not keep the manuscript? What was why Allah? He wrote by his hand. What for? What for? Because man changed. Okay, I would change what the 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 rocks. Allah, He wrote it in the rocks. Why Allah He wrote in the rocks for Musa's? It was like an art. Do you think Allah He was trying to go and join a museum about writing on rocks? Why He wrote the whole Torah according to Islam? Your prophet He said that Allah He wrote the whole Torah of Musa's by His hand, not the Ten Commandment. So imagine how many trucks Musa's he need to carry so he can carry the Torah. Do you know how many pages the Torah? Oof, a okay, lot of pages, man. You don't even have the Torah. Now listen, okay, listen. I'm asking you, do you have the Torah? We have not a Torah, but we have Moses in our Quran. Yes. Ah, so you have somebody spoke about somebody and he came more than a thousand years or two thousand years after him and that is accepted. So you don't accept. You just said that somebody, he wrote the Bible long after Jesus and then you are saying to me there's somebody came long after long 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 after those who wrote about Jesus and you accept him so Muhammad well, came Muhammad came thousands of years after Musa listen listen Muhammad Muhammad came, after, Muhammad, Muhammad came after Muhammad Muhammad came thousands of years after Musa's and he can witness for Musa do you accept him do you accept Muhammad witnessing for Musa's when he never been in the time of Musa's who? Muhammad. Yes, how he can witness for Muhammad and for Isa if he never been in their time? Allah, Allah brought down okay. the book. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me ask Moses. you. If I give you now, if I give you right now the Torah, and I say to you, I want you to swear on the Torah. Do you it's accept the to Torah. swear? You have, no, you have no proof. Listen, listen, I'm, I'm asking you a question. If I give you the Torah and I say to you, can you swear in the Torah? Do you swear in the Torah or you swear in the Quran? What do you mean? Do I get where do I get my information from? No, if I say to you, I want you to swear you are telling the truth, and I, I give swear. you two what books. You I swear. Okay, and I give you a book, and I say to you, this is the this is the Torah, and this is the Quran. Which one you choose to take an oath in it? Quran. Why? Why not the Torah? Because there's no manuscripts of the Torah, but so, there is. In so, the Quran. so you are saying. Only, Quran only false. So okay, so you are saying that only false Muslims will take an oath in the Torah, correct? Pardon, I didn't understand. Only false Muslims will take an oath by the Torah because this is a wrong Torah. There's no manuscript. 
Well, at there isn't. Do at, you agree on yeah, so I'm saying, so you are saying, at Roma's time, at Roma's time, at Roma's time, listen, listen, make it clear, make it, make it clear. At Roma's time, listen, at Roma's time, are you saying, hold on, I want an answer for my question. Are you saying a true Muslim should not swear by the Torah? Are you saying a true Muslim, a good Muslim, should not swear by the Torah? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you. Here we go. You're a prophet. He swear by the Torah. And the hadith in front of you. Read for me. The Torah existed there. In front of you. What do you mean exist there? Can I, why Why are you Muslims? If it exists there, it means it's existed until now. But the, no, there isn't. Blah, 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 blah. You are talking like a Turkey. You are talking like a Turkey. And what do you mean exist at that time? The Muhammad in the Quran says that the, the Jews, they, they corrupt the Quran. In the time of Muhammad, do you want me to show you the verse? They corrupt the Quran? Yeah, the, the Torah. Muhammad in the, in the Quran, he said that the Jews, they corrupt the, the Torah. Yeah. So what yeah. do you mean at that time it was okay? No. He they Muhammad said they corrupted. Yes, Muhammad he said the Torah was corrupt by the rabbis of the Jews. Now, yes. why you are the one who said a true Muslim should not take an oath on the Torah for it is corrupt. Here we go. This is your prophet saying it clearly that he believes in the Torah and he is taking an oath in it. Where it's in the front of you on the screen. Can you um highlight? The whole read the whole hadith. Here we go. There's no need to highlight. Read it all. Take your time. You read. Read for us. Let us hear you. <clears throat> I hope you will not hang up. We we have an agreement. You will ask me ten questions. Ten questions. We are not even finished on the first one. So we have nine left to go. So Why now does I, it say that? Why it does says, it, say it says, it says, my friend, it says that a group of Jews, they came to Muhammad, invited him to judge between them. And they called him Abu Qasim. One of our men has committed a fornication with a woman. So pronounced judgment upon them. They placed the question for the messenger of Allah, who sat on it and said, he said, Muhammad, bring the Torah. It was then brought. Then he would draw the caution from underneath of him, from beneath of him, and place the Torah on it, and uh, uh, saying, I believe in thee and in the one who sent who revealed thee. And you are the one who said, only false Muslims will take an oath in the Torah. Do you, do you want to call a friend? Do you feel like calling Zach or something? Okay, okay. So Show what? me where Jesus said he was God. What? Here's my other question. Tell me where Jesus said he is God. Don't tell me. We're not done. So you admit that you're a prophet. You just admitted that your prophet is a false Muslim. You no. said, you said, everybody heard you. It's recorded. People, they will copy the video and they will post it everywhere. You said that clearly that only false Muslims they will take an oath in the Torah. You're a prophet taking an oath in the Torah. He's a false Muslim. Explain to me how you follow a false Muslim. His name is Muhammad, the son of Abdullah. Can you go down a little bit where it says after thee who revealed thee? Yeah, go here we go. Bit, yeah, here we go. Read it. Read it all. I mean, I'm, I'm, we are not hiding. I can't see all I can see is he then said, Bring me one who is learned among you. Then okay, hold on. Let me let me make it more clear for you. No problem. Hold on. Let me use my magic. I will read the chapter of a chair. Uh, the chapter of the chair solve all the problems, technical difficulty. Okay, here we go. Do you see it? All of it now. All the hadith appear. There's no execute. Yes, I can see. One all second. Right. So, what the problem now? <clears throat> Okay, you okay? You got me there. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I didn't know that. Ah, so you now? So do you admit that Muhammad was a false prophet and false messenger and false Muslim? No. So what do you mean? No. A second ago, you told me 
I mean, you are contradicting yourself. Aren't you the one who said only false Muslims they take an oath in the false Torah? Why Muhammad is saying I believe in thee if this is a corrupt Torah? Do you think Muhammad was drunk at that day? Drunk? Yeah. Well, no. Okay, maybe because he was bewitched by the Jews. Well, why does it say that? Well, you do not know that Muhammad he was bewitched. Muhammad, the, well, yeah. the, the Jews, my yeah, friend, not, not, the, the yeah, Jews, not the, this, the Jews are very dangerous. Let me tell you something. The Jews are very dangerous. That's why I don't visit them at home. Once I visited, visited a Jew, and when I went home, I start imagining myself having sex with my wives, but the fact I never did. And later I found that it was a Jew who made for me a magic, and I'm imagining things never happen. So what do you think about this? If this has happened to me, do you think I'm going crazy or this is a magic? I don't know. Obviously, I'm going crazy, you know. Look, look with me. He says the prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had sex with his wives, but in fact, he did not. Do you know what happened to your prophet? Is that on the screen now? Yeah. Uh, it's only just came on mine. One second. I didn't see anything. No problem. Take your Probably time. For such and such period. <laughs> I will give him time to read guys I will tell you my story once once I went to visit a guy he's from Israel his name is Shaul okay and I drank some tea and he told me do you like me to cut your hair I said okay so he cut my hair and then when I went home, I felt like there's somebody controlling me by remote control. So I start imagining myself having sex with my wives, but the fact it was the curtain of my window. And I imagine myself and I told my friends I was having sex, but the wives they told me, You never touch us, it was the curtain. So what do you think, Muhammad from Pakistan? What happened to your prophet? He was having sex with the curtain or with the teddy bear? Hello? Hello. Yeah, what happened? What do you think happened to your prophet? Why is why he is not having I mean this is really crazy. You know, I'm not going I'm not I will never talk to Jews. I mean those people they are very powerful. I heard that the Trump Trump he is controlled by the Jews too. They 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 got some of his hair, he have a blonde hair, they got some of his hair and they are controlling him from far away. And this is exactly what happened to your prophet. Look at this. According to the story, they took some hair from his, I don't know from where, I hope not from the wrong area, and they controlled him from far away. So what do you think? Well, he was under the effect of magic. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean that the prophet is under the effect of a magic? Okay, go down. It says what material did he use? Let me see down there, please. All right, no problem. How many lines do you want me to go? Just a little bit, please. Okay. So guys, our friend here, he accept that his prophet was under black magic. That's wonderful. He was under the voodoo, yeah? Somebody did voodoo for Muhammad. You know, uh, once I went to Jamaica, and there is a neighbor there. She told me she is going to uh, bring a rooster, and she would do some voodoo for me, so she I will marry her. And she did. Second day, I did marry her, you know? But the third day, another neighbor, she liked me so she did cook a rooster or a slaughter a rooster and she did voodoo for my wife now my wife she asked me for divorce now the third wife she got me now 
because she did more, more powerful voodoo from the other voodoo because her rooster was bigger. Okay, then the fourth wife, the fourth neighbor, I was moving like in, in the town from everywhere, like you know, because voodoo is working, you know. So, what do you think about what happened to your prophet? A woman she did voodoo, or a man she did voodoo for Muhammad. Hello, hello. Yeah, tell me. Uh, talk to us. What, what what happened? So what? The, 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 it says the, 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 what material did he use? The other replied, the skin of the pollen of a male date tree with a comb and the hair stuck to it, kept yeah. under a stone in the well of Darwan. Yeah. So do you Ooh, do, do you think really you can control a person by a skin of a pollen of a male date tree? So if I go right now and get some branches so from a from a part, from a palm tree, that doesn't, that doesn't indicate alcohol or drunkenness. I'm not talking about. I'm talking. I'm asking you. The prophet he was imagining himself having sex. Why is was he? Uh, look, I mentioned the word drunk when your prophet he took an oath in the Torah. Remember, because you said that this is not right. So while your prophet was taking an oath in the Torah, either he's drunk or he's taking hashish, or he was bewitched maybe. So which one you want no, to maybe 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 the Torah back then was fine and now it's no not. but Muhammad in the Quran said the Torah was not fine. I can show you the verse. But now let us let us focus in here. Muhammad he imagined oh, himself tell me that verse, Muhammad, tell me that verse Muhammad said that because he was drunk or something? No, no. Listen, I'm I, I'm saying to you when he took an oath in the Torah, was he in his uh, 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 like uh, conscious of what he is doing, or he was a drunk, or being uh, crazy, or being hypocrite to the Jews. I say he was I hypocrite. I don't really know. I say I'm he not, was I'm hypocrite. He's trying know. to convert the Jews to accept him as a prophet. So he said to them, "I believe in your Torah," and he took an oath of it. And he put the Torah in the cushion, and he swear on it, showing respect to the Torah. He did not insult the Torah. He put, imagine he took the question from underneath of him and he placed the Torah in the top of it and he said I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee Now we see in this hadith that there's a Jewish guy a Jewish guy. His name is Lubaid ibn al-Asam He got some hair of the hair of the Prophet And he controlled him according to some hadith. It was the daughter of Lubaid is the one who did the black magic for your Prophet now you said he was under the influence of the black magic. What is the black magic? Can you give me the definition? I didn't say he was under black magic. You did. You did. Go back and it's recorded. You said that. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Now, so he was under what then? Tell us. Huh? He was under what? Here it says he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. Why? Uh, what is the reason based, based on this story in front of us, the hadith? Does it say magic or no? My main concern isn't this. My, my main friend, my friend, is does it say magic or no? Is it saying magic or yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can I so what magic mean? What magic mean? Who, uh, who, well, who knows? When, who knows? What do you mean? Who knows? Uh, who so, knows? So how you can call it magic if you do not know what it is? Okay. What do you think it means? I mean, it's a stupidity. There's no magic. Look, There's no magic. My main concern you see, you see, is where Jesus <clears throat> said he was gone. But don't change the topic. I'm asking you what no, no, magic what, what magic what magic mean? What he was controlled by magic. What magic mean? Okay, let me show you from the Quran. Do you know what the Quran says about magic? Yes, it's bad. Okay, what bad? What does that mean? It means it's bad. Okay, but uh, that, that bad? No, it doesn't say that's bad. It says that the the one who is practicing magic is the shayateen. Do you agree with that? Chapter two, chapter two, verse number one or two. Show me any of them. Okay, let us show you on the screen. Really? you show me what Jesus said he is don't God, change the topic I, you know we, you promised me no, 10 questions you, you, you promised me 10 questions you promised me 10 questions I, will, I, will, I promise you I will answer you about what when you finish this one this is the first thing we will talk about I promise oh, Jesus, Jesus said I am God Jesus said I'm God I will show you okay now here we go it says that Allah he sent two angels Harut and Marut and they taught magic to the bad ones 
and it's used by the shayateen, the shaitan. So what do you say about this? I'm not interested in this, you know. I, uh, well, I am interested. You are the one who opened the topic, and now we have to finish it. It's your problem. You are the one who opened it, not me. Okay, can I close it? Okay, to close it, you have to answer me. How how your prophet is controlled by the shaitan? Because the shaitan is the one practicing magic. What kind of a prophet is controlled by the shaitan? What Allah was doing when the prophet was controlled by shaitan? He was watching TV? He was watching Dr. Phil? Sky News? <laughs> yeah, what he was doing? How, you know, uh, the Quran says that Allah is going to protect you from the genie and mankind okay so how Allah he promised him to be protected but he did not protect him do you know <clears throat> no I can't give you yes or no because I don't ah you don't know okay now you, I, 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 I made a promise for you okay now we want to talk about where Jesus said I am God is that correct in the Bible, yes, or okay. in the Quran. Oh, right. If you're going to use the Quran, try it. Okay, we want the Quran. I love to use the Quran. Okay, let me show you the Quran saying that Jesus is God. You are the one who asked for it, so we have to go with it. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, uh, the Quran, the Quran. We will go to chapter. That's as I can name. Christian brother, brother Hitler. Some Christians they said that Jesus is God, and all of us we know that this is not true. If we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran said clearly that Prophet Jesus, Isa, is not God. What is the proof that he is not God? Read with me. All right. You know, Christian, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just I want to show you. Oh, yeah, we want to show you. The it's okay. nothing, nothing serious. Yeah, no, no, I'm but just asking you what okay, you find okay, this. okay. Just read, read. It says here with me. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم. Do you know what does that mean? I don't understand Arabic. Man. So you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. I pray to him in English. Huh? You pray Quran in English? Yes. Are you allowed to do that? You said you are a Sunni, right? The Sunni yes. they pray to Allah in English? Since when? Okay, you must be a moderate Sunni. You 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 wear jeans, don't you? Okay, read with me here. It says that they took their rabbis and their monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. This is the Quran saying. That those the false ones they took their monks and their rabbis as gods instead of who of the Messiah and Allah. So Allah is saying that the Messiah and Allah is the one to worship. And this is the Quran. Chapter 9, Show verse me number in the Bible where it says Jesus. Uh, no, is you God. are the one who asked me to show you first from the Quran. Why you change now? In in the Bible, I mean. my friend. No, you said in the you said everybody heard you saying that. Show me in the Bible. In, in uh, 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 okay, so listen. Uh, uh, you know, listen, listen, listen. What's the problem going to the Bible? We can go to the Bible, but we have to finish. You are the one who asked me. People, they remember a second ago. You told me show me from the Quran. We have to finish it. Why the Quran is saying they worship their monks and rabbis instead of Jesus? Why the Quran says that? Let's go in the Bible and see where it says he's gone. <laughs> you know, you, I'm, I'm doing your request. I'm doing your request. Don't jump. So why it says you should worship Jesus and Allah? What do you think? Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus is God. I will show you, no problem. But we have to finish this one. You have to give me an answer, so we can go to the Bible. What do you think? What is the reason for this? 
Don't you think there is a problem here? I feel like it's your screen frozen. Huh? Do you have? Do you have on my? Because I'm watching you on my YouTube. Do you have your screens like in one one place, like where, where writing is, or not? Because mm. I can't see anything. Why you don't see? Okay, hold on. Let us see. Here we go. Do you see it now? Do you see it now? Everybody can see it. Chapter nine, verse number thirty-one. And I, I highlighted for you the, the verse. So what do you say? One second. <coughs> it's in Arabic, yes? Mm -hmm. Show me, can you show me in English, please? Okay, well, the English translation is not really accurate, but no problem, here we go. The Muslim they fabricated translation. Okay, they took they take their priest and their uh, rabbis or whatever to be their lords in uh, derogation of Allah. But it doesn't say that. It says instead of Allah and the Messiah. This is a false translation. Anyone who's speaking Arabic, he knew. You can copy the text in Arabic, but just post it in Google as it is. If you don't believe me. So what do you say? Why the Quran saying that they took their rabbis and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah? Is that a mistake? No, 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 no. It says they uh, I, I don't know the word to be their lords in decoration of Allah, and they take as their lord. Yeah, this is your translation. Right. I just said this is a false translation, my friend. It doesn't yeah, say they that they were commanded to worship but one. Listen, Allah. listen. It doesn't say that. It doesn't well, say you, that. that's what you're showing me. This is what it's saying is here translation. This far, this is why I showed you in Arabic. I thought you speak Arabic. I thought you okay. Hold on, hold on. Do you know? Do you know a friend who speaks Arabic? Yes, but not with me. Okay, can you call him right now? Uh, what's the time? No, he'll be asleep. Hmm. Don't you have a friend? He is awake because we can call him and he can read for you. I, I don't want to ring him at like 12 o'clock at night. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, maybe we can do it uh, next time. Is that you promise me? You bring me another guy? You. Okay, guys, he promised me that he is going to read for us. He Thank was going you, to bring, friend, he's going to bring friend, a, a friend who speaks Arabic and he will translate for us word by word. That's wonderful. Actually, I like that. Now, you said to me where Jesus said he is God. Yes. Okay. Do you know how to read English? Of course, man. Are you sure? I thought Christians are uh, meant to love their neighbors, no? And I don't love my neighbor, really. My neighbor is a donkey. Ah. He's a donkey. So you don't keep the don't keep the commands of Christ, no? No, I keep the command of my uh, Christ because my na my neighbor my, my neighbor command, literally right? is a donkey. That's what I can command, right? My friend, my friend, my neighbor is a donkey. I don't have a human being next to me. My next door is a donkey. What I would do? But by the way, do you, you know, know what? Do you know what your Do you know what your prophet said about donkeys? Do you, do you, what would this have to do with love your neighbor? Why you are upset? Did I say to you I hate you? Did I say I hate you? Did I say I hate you? Why you are talking about about love? Do you are you even allowed to love your father in Islam? Why you are talking about hate now? Why you jump? You change the topic. You want to talk about hate? Chapter no, nine, chapter nine, verse number twenty-three. It says you cannot even love or be friend. To your father and your brother from your family. Is it that says correct? that in the Bible as well. No, it doesn't say that. Yes, New Testament. Jesus said, in, "You can't follow me unless you hate your mother, brother, sister." Father, no, this is everything. not. This is not what I, what it meant. This is not what it meant. No, that is what it meant. No, it's mean if you love more yes. anyone more than me, it's mean you don't love me. You, you, the, the, the word, the most you love is your Lord. This is why the Bible says yes. the one who insults his parents should be put to death. Is that correct? No, it says in the Bible you have to follow Jesus. Yes, you have to even hate your mother, brother, sister, because he. You're he, not. He you know. You listen, listen. Okay, let me ask you. Did Jesus say it? Did Jesus say it? Did right? Jesus say it? Did exactly Jesus say? Did Jesus say love your enemy or no? Did he say love well, your no. enemy? Jesus, did he say to the Christians love your enemy? Oh, did he say love your enemy? Yes. Okay. So how he, he said love your enemy and hate your mother. <laughs> yeah. 
so obviously this is not what I meant. So you are being a no, being a, being a childless. Now listen. Okay, in, okay. In, listen, 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 talk. listen. Don't talk about love because Quran all is all of it is about hate. All right. Now, Jesus in Luke chapter twenty. He asked the Jews and he said to them one second. I have a Bible at you one second. Let me go check mm. What do you have the Bible of? Uh, Zechariah? Huh? Which Bible you have the corrupt one? Uh, yeah, probably yes. Yeah, which, which corrupt one which corrupt one you have? Well, there's no manuscripts original man. No, no, which which so translation probably. which translation you are reading? Is that the same one I you, just one you caught for me as uh, Isaiah? No, my friend I just <laughs> bought one from a shop. Ah, okay. No problem. All right now it's niv or something One in, niv is not accepted christian don't accept this translation this is false translation. christian don't accept niv no christian don't accept it no ah. I, don't, I don't accept it no ah, so anyway i will beat you from the niv no problem read for me here we go are you happy i want to make you happy <laughs> i can't even go to a shop and buy a bible because oh no it's i you know there's i uh, do listen listen do you accept yourself any translation say yes one second, I'm getting. Do you started. accept? No, as long as you are talking about translation, do you accept yourself Ali translation? Say yes. What? Do you accept? Do you accept Yosef Ali translation? Say yes. Do I accept any translation? Do you accept Yosef Ali translation oh, to the Quran? For the Quran? Yes or no? For the Quran? Yes. Yes. Okay. In chapter 19, verse number 19, it says that Jesus is holy. Is what? Is holy. Do you accept that? Yes, of course. But Muhammad is sinner in the translation of Yusuf Ali. How does this happen? How Jesus is because holy. Jesus oh, but Jesus is sinless, right? You just say that? And Muhammad was sinner. Yes. Huh? Muhammad was sinner and Jesus is sinless, correct? Yes. Okay. So how Jesus is not God then if you just said he is sinless he's sinless? Huh? 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 You ask me to no, prove no, to you that Jesus is God. You ask me to prove. You ask me to. You know you heard me and you answered and everybody heard you. You no, ask. You ask me to to prove to you that Jesus is God and you just admitted that your prophet is a sinner and Jesus is sinless. How a yes. human being can be sinless? Because God made him sinless. Okay, why Muhammad is not sinless then? Because that wasn't his. That wasn't his mission. Okay, so the mission of Muhammad to be sinless, the mission of Jesus is to be holy. Yes. Okay. When a person he is holy, is that make him human or God? Well, just for Jesus. What holy mean exactly? Holy mean he never make a even a mistake, correct? Because because yes. sin can be done yes. by mistake, yes. can be done in purpose, can be done in many ways. So Jesus, you are yes. saying to us, he never commits sin. He never made yeah. a mistake that make him a perfect yeah. person who is perfect except God Can you answer if there's anyone else perfect beside God No, so Jesus is God for he just admit that he is perfect. He never make a sin He never commit a sin. He never made a mistake and you just confirm that the mission of Jesus to be sinless and the mission of Muhammad to be the devil, to be sinner. When you say my mission is to be sin sinner, that's mean I am, I am playing the devil. So you are saying to me that we have a bad cop, good cop. Jesus is the good good God. Muhammad is the bad devil. This is what you just said to us. How can man be God? Though? You just told me he is God. I do not need to prove it to you no more. You just accepted how man can be sinless. <laughs> you tell me how he is just a man because and he is God sinless. God. I am sinless. You are sinless. God Everybody is sin. Sinless. I am not sinless. You are not sinless. Everybody is sinner. So how Jesus is not sinless? Tell me. Explain to me. Because God made him not sinless. Okay. God made him not sinless for what reason? Why? There must be a reason. That's a good question. I don't know. Ah, the good question, no answer for it. I know why. Because he's perfect. And a person who have no sin, shall he die? Shall he go to judgment day? If he have no sin, what do you think? 
No. Well, no, because Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. Thank you very power. much. So Jesus, guys, he just admitted Jesus will never go to the court for there is no sin to be judged for. So he is above all mankind. He is not like anyone. Everybody go in the judgment day to be judged, but except Jesus. Now, is it true that your prophet said that Jesus is going to be judge absolute just and justice? Hakim and Muqsitan? Jesus isn't going to be judged, no. No, Muhammad said. And Jesus, yes, oh, he said Muhammad that. Yes, Jesus judged? said that, yeah. But Muhammad said that he, Jesus, is going to be Hakim and Muqsitan, which means absolute just and justice. Yes. Is a judge okay? How you can be absolute justice if you are not God? There's no absolute justice except God because God He knows the unseen, He knows his lying, right? I can fool a judge if he is a human being, I can lie to him, I can cry and make him believe I am innocent, he will let me go. But I cannot fool God. So, in order for Jesus to be the judge in the judgment day. And to be absolute judge, no, Jesus not judge on judgment day. He is. Who? Okay. When Jesus is going to be practicing his judgment according to Islam? Can you show me where it says that Jesus is going to judge? Uh, in the Quran? Not in the Quran. This is from the Hadith. <clears throat> oh, in the Hadith? Yeah. Which one? No, no. <clears throat> Sahari Bakari or? Hold, hold on. Let me see if I can find it in English first. If not, then we have to show it in Arabic. <coughs> All right. Here we go. It's in English in front of us. This is Sahih Muslim. And the translation here is not really accurate. And this is Sahih Bukhari. Read with me, please. Uh, what translation is this? Uh, I mean, where is this coming from? Sorry, this Bukhari. is Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Let me show you one by one. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 2222, two, 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 which means 4 2. Sahih al Bukhari, or Sahih Muslim, hadith number 155A. Mm. Okay. Uh, Sahih al Bukhari, uh, 2476. All right. Jami'ut Tirmidhi Hadith number 2233 Okay, let us go, enough, we do not need to show more It is Sahih Now, Muhammad is swear, he swear That in the judgment day He says, mm. by the one who is in my hand Is his uh, my soul Ibn Maryam, which means the son of Mary Shall soon descend does it say there soon? Do you see the word soon? It's okay. Can I just read that because uh, you I think you're screw. You'll you'll speak it to me before I can see it on the screen. All right. Can I just read? Okay, read it. Hold on. Take your time. I'm zooming in for you so you can see it better. It doesn't, uh, maybe it's because you haven't showed me it yet. It doesn't say that Jesus is going to be judging, you know. It says that. What, what do you want to talk about? It's in front of you. It says, well, by the one judging, hands judging the justly. Do you see it? So, so in the set, judging justly. Hmm? So, break the cross, kill the pig, we know that Jesus is going to walk away. So, judging justly.
Do they not see uh, Mariam shall soon descend among you, judging, uh, judging justly? Yeah, it says that in front of you. Are you, are you looking at the screen? Are you looking? Everybody can see it. Well, you can see it. Should I give you the, the link? You open it in your browser there? Uh, yes. Please. Okay, here we go. Let me give you the link in Skype. Take a look in your Skype, please. And I will give it to you actually to in the text in the chat. There we go. In your Skype. Open it and read for us. Take your time. I the one who handles my soul. I the one who handles my soul. Yes, I can see it. All right. So how Jesus is going to be the judge and what it's mean to be justly? How we can he how we can do that? Nobody can do that. Human, they make errors. <clears throat> so oh. I need to come back to that one. You like I need to go somewhere and ask my imam. Okay. Go and ask your imam, no problem. What what about you call your imam to call me? What do you think? That would be what, better. What yeah, what about, you know, I mean, you, you make him call me. That would be better. I don't think he will, because he's old. I am old, too. Well. So now, look what you said to me. You just admitted that Jesus is perfect. Jesus is no sin, have no sin. He is, he is a sinless. Jesus is going to judge in the judgment day. And he will judge justly. And Jesus How? is 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 you know. Look what your prophet here said. Actually, here he he made a false prophecy. Did you notice what the false prophecy in the hadith? Did you notice the false prophecy? No. Your prophet he said that the Messiah Yushiko, which means almost, he is coming down. Very soon, not on like almost in the corner. So, this is something Muhammad he prophesied that Jesus is coming down very soon, fourteen hundred years ago. Yeah. Okay. So, why why you think this prophecy is not happening? Because judgment day, right? Yeah, but I mean, this is not, he said soon. Do you see the word soon? Actually, in Arabic, it doesn't say soon. It's very, it says almost. Yeah. But it's more than you soon. You can't, just, you can't say just because he said soon. It's like when Jesus said, uh, I'll come back soon, yeah? What Jesus can't say, come back soon? It says, it says in Arabic, my friend, you are reading translation. It says, which means it's almost, he's coming down. Almost, almost, he's there. So it's a false prophecy. Jesus now, let me ask you a question. Uh, let me ask you a question. Who, do, who, do you see? Who, who, okay, okay, forget about this. Do, do you see there? Do you see there your prophet saying that Jesus? Jesus hold, hold on. Jesus said, Come back soon. That, that does it say there that Jesus will kill the pig? Is it true that Jesus will kill the pig? Does it say that Jesus will kill the pig? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, why? Uh, I guess because uh, we don't eat pigs, so we get so we, you, do, you don't eat cockroaches too. So why Jesus want to kill the pig? What's the problem with the pig? What's the problem between Allah and the pig? There is a fight between them. There's a problem. What is the problem? It's just a dirty animal. So there's many dirty animals. A human beings are dirty too. Don't take a shower for two days. You will you will, you will stink. So why why you what do you mean dirty animals? All all animals are dirty. We are dirty too. What does that mean? Your prophet he used to have a lot of lice in his head because he's dirty. The pigs don't have lice. Don't you know that? They don't have lice. Your prophet have a lot of lice in his head. So, uh, your prophet he used to take a shower in dirty water, have dead dogs, and women blood from period. Don't, the pigs don't do that. So why why he want to kill the pig? What the problem between Allah and the pig? To find a reason why Isa, this Isa, the Muslim Isa, why he want to wage war against the pig and which pig? It says a pig. There's one pig. Is that a big pig or something? Is he like a, a powerful pig? Big pig? His sexy pig? What? I'm trying to find out. Know. Do you think this pig is going to be found in, in, in Las Vegas or in Florida in the beach? What the problem? God is sending the most powerful person he have. His name is Isa. And Isa now is going to wage a war, a war against the pig. So do you think the pig is going to have an army too? Or it's just like a cowboy. You know, we see two guys. Uh, Isa have, a, have his, uh, his, his, uh, his uh, uh, magnum gun. And the pig, he have his gun. And uh, Isa, he says to the pig, we count okay. in three. And the first one who shoot he is the winner. So how, what will happen exactly? How he will kill the pig? Do you know? Steam Prince woman. Uh how did if Jesus is God don't don't change topic why? Don't, don't say if you just admitted that he is God the, the word if is not exist no more uh -huh. we just reach we just reach a, a agreement me and you that Jesus is alive he is sinless huh he will come back yeah. he is absolute yeah. judge he will be perfect judge and he is a perfect person and nobody is perfect save God so you do not need to be convinced more that Jesus is God, but now we need to ask a very simple question. Why Jesus want to kill the pig? Why not the donkey? You see, as an example, Muhammad, he said, the enemy of Allah is the mice. The enemy of Allah is the mice. Why Jesus is not going to have a cowboy fight with the mice? Why the pig? What the pig exactly did to Allah? He's an animal like all animals. What a, what is a big deal about the pig? We want to know. What is it special? It's just a bad animal. Why it's bad? Why do you think, why okay, do you, think, do, you, uh, do you know, my friend? Uh, do you, do you uh, know? Okay, do, do you have anyone? Jesus, listen, listen. What, what's your name again? What, what was your name again? What's your name again? What's your name? Why? No, no, answer my question first. I'm, I'm asking you. I, I want to call you by your name. I don't want to call you Abdul. Okay, no, okay, Abdul, no problem. Abdul, listen, listen. Do you have any? Do you, do you have? Do you have any? Kashim. Okay. Do you have any family member have diabetes? Uh, my nan did before she died. Yes. All right. Do you know what the medicine they give to somebody have a diabetes? Well, they give them. They can give them plenty. They can give them all uh, sorts. Yeah, but do you know it's made from what? It's made from pigs. Do you know that? So pigs are very useful animals, and they they, they save uh, millions of people. D have you ever have a surgery yourself? Do you have a stitches or something? Have you ever have a stitches? Uh, yeah, when I was okay. Good by do, do you know that the stitches is made from the meat, the skin of the pigs? Do you know that? No, no. Oh yeah, you can go and search it. Don't uh, don't tell me, show me. You speak English. You know you have a computer. Just search. So okay, pigs, pigs save life. Pigs, pigs they save life. Your prophet kill people. So pig, and if we if we say we have a pig and we have Muhammad, which one is better? The pig. Millions of people will die. They have diabetes, but the pig is saving their life. 
millions Christians, Jews, Hindus, Muslim doesn't matter. Millions of human beings, they are saved by Mr. Pig. Now, you millions of people die because of Muhammad. So who is more dangerous, the pig or Muhammad? Muhammad was being just self-defending. What self-defending? What do you mean self-defending? What do you mean self-defending? Yeah. I mean, someone attacked okay. him. Hold on, Muhammad. He said, I, Muhammad. He said, the one who changed his religion, kill him. Is that self-defending? Well, if if he obviously didn't want people to be led astray. What? He if I want to leave, people. if I want to leave Islam, is that self-defend? I don't want to be a Muslim. Why he want to kill me? You said this is self-defend, right? Okay. Somebody don't want to be a Muslim. Why you want? To, why he will kill him? If it's only self-defense, as if he claim. Anyway, uh, I'm so glad that you called me, but you know, I want you to try next time to get me your shake, you know, call him in the mosque and tell him that, uh, you know, you know, uh, shakes, shakes, they will not debate me unless you pay them. So let me tell you what you do. Tell him that you will give him $20, you know, you will, you will buy him uh, like uh, uh, a headphone, Bluetooth, you know, then he will love to debate me. So you have to promise me something because you know Muslims and you are a Muslim too. They like rewards. They don't do things for free. Like why the Muslims want to do jihad? Because they want to get a lot of vagina. No, no. No. Okay. Did your prophet say that Allah will give you eighty thousand women? What do you mean where? What's wrong with you? Each time I say to you something, you say where? Are you born yesterday or what? No. What do you mean where? Okay, hold on. You didn't answer my question when you said you would answer, by the way. Which one? Which one? If Jesus is God, how could he be tempted by Satan? I mean, what it says he tempted by Satan. Do you know what tempted me? Yes. Okay, you just told me, everybody is laughing at you now. You just told me and everybody heard you that Jesus is sinless. So Satan, he can try to tempt as many as much as he wish. Still, he is sinless. Let us say, let us say, hold on, hold on, let us say, let us say, Satan, he come to me as a woman and she start doing belly dancing. This is trying, he, you know, he tempting. This is, he's, he's tempting me, right? But I did not commit sin, so Shaitan did not do anything. So the Bible tells us that Shaitan, he tried, but it doesn't affect Jesus. And you just admitted that Jesus is sinless, so he's God. Okay, now, your prophet, he said, look at this. <clears throat> Uh, let us show you the hadith. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see this one first. The prophet said, The list of the people of paradise in the position of the one with 80,000 servants and 72 wives. Yes, yeah, 72, yes, 80,000. No, 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 this is the lowest reward, my friend. 72 is for the bad Muslim. It says there, the least of people. This is not the reward for every Muslim. This is the bad, the bad yes, Muslim. Yes, okay. yes. So I the know, bad I Muslim, know. the bad Muslim will get 72 wives and, and 80,000 little boys to serve him, according to this. What does it say, little boys? In the Quran, it says boys. Where? What do you mean where? I don't know. I have. I. I am suspecting that you are a, a you. Uh, you are a Shia. I don't know. No, I just think you're making lies. There's no say no boys. Hmm. All right. They're not gonna be virgin boys. Okay. Here we go. You see it? It says we are tofu alayhim ulmanun ka'annahum lu'nuhum maknun. Chapter fifty-two, verse number twenty-four. And this is the translation of Prophet Yusuf Ali. So, what do you say? You told me there is not such a thing. It says, this is the translation of Yusuf Ali, young male servants, handsome as pearls, 
well guarded <laughs> so they are young boys all right if we go to different interpretation yeah. translation the guy is gone yeah this does it say here shall go boys this does it say boys boys sexy boys pretty boys <laughs> <clears throat> even in the heaven of Islam there is a slavery but you see guys when you when you speak to Muslims they cannot run away from the truth here we go we made them admit let us get the conclusion of this conversation with this Abdul Jerusalem and Israel is the land of the Jews that's wonderful Jesus is sinless Jesus is perfect Muhammad is sinner this is his mission according to what he said this is what he said the mission of Jesus to be sinless is the perfect person but there's no perfect save God every human being make mistakes and do sin even Muhammad he said every son of an Adam is a sinner but Jesus is not the son of an Adam for he is not born of Adam he is from above as the Quran described him as the word of God sent down to Mary so the word of God became a man and that man is a perfect man for he is the perfect God in the form of a man this is why he have no sin he have no errors he have no faults and he admitted that Jesus will not go to judgment day to be judged and not only that we showed him from the hadith how Jesus in the judgment day at the end of the time he will come he will come back he would descend down actually not come back which means he's now in heaven this is where his house now According to Muslims, the house of Jesus, as we speak, is the house of God. Everybody is dead. Muhammad himself is dead. Jesus is in heaven watching us.